सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर ऑन यू एच बी थ्री वी फिनिश्ड मॉड्यूल वन सिक्स लेक्चर्स इन मॉड्यूल वन एंड वी ऑन द प्रैक्टिस सेशन बिकमिंग अवेयर ऑफ द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ पेइंग अटेंशन टू द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ वी डिड स्टेप वन observing the imagination without trying to change it without trying to stop it without trying to justify it analyze it just observing it as it is that was step 1 step 2 yesterday we were talking about evaluating the feeling so when you look at the imagination particularly the feeling now in step 2 you are evaluating that feeling and you are asking yourself is this feeling that i am having at this moment naturally acceptable to me or not naturally acceptable to me is it natural for me is it in accordance with human nature or not and do i want the continuity of this feeling or not so if we ask these questions then we get clear indicators of what kind of feeling we have so it is one way of evaluating the feeling like we keep saying this exercise one exercise two you know these are one way of trying to pay attention inside and seeing within there could be many ways this is one way that we are talking about so um yesterday this was the assignment to look at our feeling throughout the day and to evaluate the feeling so first and foremost we will be able to do this exercise if there is any problem or doubt regarding this why we could not do it you can just raise your hand and we can discuss it now Nish ji saying partially. Um, not sure what that means, but um, so if there is any question regarding this or um, any doubt about how to go about it or whether we are doing it right or whatever it may be, we can discuss it now. Yeah. Hello. Namaste, Didi. Didi, actually, I was able to do this yesterday also. i have one doubt like sometimes i could see that the feeling is you know in line with the natural acceptance mm. and sometimes it is not mm. like uh, for example sometimes i am doubting the intention of the other mm. so at that time what should i do like you know, yesterday also i doubted the intention of some of one of my colleagues and i mm. could see that i am doubting the intention mm. and that is you know not in line with the natural acceptance then yes. there were thoughts like what should i think i mean how to deal with this you know this situation when you know that you know you are not thinking as per the natural acceptance then what should i do yeah so right now we are on step 2 we are only evaluating the feeling as we go through the other steps we'll talk about you know what to do further but to briefly respond to your question ask yourself this is not naturally acceptable what is naturally acceptable so can i have that feeling which is naturally acceptable to me yeah. at that moment <clears throat> see what is not right that we are able to see very clearly this is not right yes. so yes. what is right if we are able to see that then we can Uh, have the feeling that is naturally acceptable it is actually that simple we complicate it because we think that it is not possible and how can i and we justify so many reasons why we should have continue with this feeling yeah the But, justification is still there baby <laughs> <laughs> yes i do feel that oh no no i am right yeah so whether yeah. we are right or the other person is right it doesn't matter Yes. What is important is 
everybody has a right to think whatever they want to think <laughs> yes yes it? we can't force somebody to think a certain way yes yes baby is it yeah so if i am trying to make sure that the other person also thinks the same way then i am setting myself up for lot of unhappiness because it won't yeah. work out it will yeah. not be possible. so earlier i had this feeling like when i did uhv 1 2 and i started volunteering i was like you know talking to people and telling them oh you should attend at least attend the introductory workshop you will feel good so many people i told that yeah you should attend i i can see change in myself but now that has you know reduced now the number of people to whom i discuss about this is it has reduced i don't know yeah. whether it is right or wrong uh, well i think this happens because when we don't get the result we are expecting you know from others then we sort of get disheartened and we say forget it they don't understand yeah maybe and because i don't want to convince others now i don't want yeah. to you know convince people yes because yeah. anyway that will not work we can yeah. convince and maybe you know wo jo bolte na peet ke kisi ko bitha do yes yes baby you can <laughs> convince and you can try to push and force perhaps one or two people to go and sit there but if they are not interested they are not interested what are you going to do yes. you can't force them to pay attention that is certainly not so up to you is it right now like i'm not convincing people is it the right to be to go about it more important than what you are doing whether you are trying to talk to them or not is how you are feeling within yeah Okay. So if I have a feeling of relationship and I feel okay, they are lacking in competence. Maybe I have to give them time. Now that is you are comfortable with them. But if your opinion is or if your feeling is one of opposition that they just don't understand, forget it. I should not. Now I am seeing myself as different from them. I have a feeling of opposition. that is not the best thing for anybody because for me i am living with that feeling of opposition all the time so i am unhappy because of that i may not be able to see it right now but it will somewhere uh, bother me yeah. but you can keep it open and see for yourself i mean i'm just saying yes yes uh, yeah so when we see a lot of times we act a certain way and post that incident we are reflecting on it and we recall it and we are thinking we didn't do the right thing isn't it so many times we feel yes 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 baby i got angry i shouted i didn't really want to so later on i might think oh i didn't really want to do that and i thought i was doing better but again i shouted so now i at least i am observing this earlier i may not have been observing it now when i observe this that it happened it has already happened no point in having guilt about it no point in not feeling good about it because it's already over you can't go back and change that what you can do is to try to see what could have been your response based on your natural acceptance so what is naturally acceptable to you the feeling that you want to continue with with that feeling how could you have responded that you can sort of image within yourself at that time yes yes and so that next time around you may be able to do better and better and better and as time goes on you will find that you are able to um do this earlier and earlier and till you are able to just do it at that moment even before you burst out even before it happens 
when it is just starting that feeling is changing within or you are having that feeling not naturally acceptable that very moment you will be able to check it you will be able to evaluate it you will be able to see what is right and then go from there so you will not have the outburst outside you will not have the reaction outside even before that you will be able to catch it within when you are paying attention so all that will happen uh right now we are just talking about evaluating the feeling making sure that we ask this question at least yeah yes yes didi thank you didi so if you look at this evaluating the feeling what we are saying we need to you know be aware of the feeling and evaluate the feeling this is required if we want to be in happiness in continuity so these are some examples that draw your attention to the feeling that you are having now for instance you are sitting in say seating you should you are sitting in an air conditioned room in front of your director for whom you have a feeling of fear mistrust is this feeling of fear or mistrust naturally acceptable to you would you like to have the continuity of this feeling so you can answer this in the chat or if anybody would like to discuss this we can do that so we are able to very get, get a really clear idea that you know all of us can see that this is not something naturally acceptable to us this is not something that we want the continuity of and we are uncomfortable with this now if you see supposing you are sitting under the tree with your friend for whom you have a feeling of assurance or trust is this feeling of assurance or trust naturally acceptable to you and would you like to have the continuity of this feeling so this is very clear i think there is no doubt regarding this that these situations this is how it is okay let's look at one more example you are looking at an album with old photographs it brings back nostalgic memories and your imagination drifts back to the time when you and your close friends went on a picnic together you think of all the fun you had together what is your feeling at this time that is now does this feeling make you feel comfortable or uncomfortable inside so we can see this isn't it now we are comfortable with it now here you see you are just looking at that album it's not happening now but you are just thinking about it and because you are recalling the fun you had together and the close friends and all of that now your feeling is deciding your comfort level nothing is happening outside you are just thinking about something that already occurred and is over with isn't it this is what we do this is how we keep thinking about things that happened in the past sometimes pleasant sometimes unpleasant and we keep thinking about them and reliving those feelings okay now let us look at this last uh, example here think of a news item that you may have seen earlier depicting a violent attack by some people on a helpless old man what is your feeling now does this feeling make you feel comfortable or uncomfortable inside what do you think uncomfortable okay so we are we can see that this makes us uncomfortable now you see how much time we spend on social media on tv even if we say we are watching the news 
if you're seeing violence if you're seeing you know somebody attack somebody this is what we read in the paper no this one did this to that and so on and such and such thing happened in so and so place and all of that so in the name of news and being up to date with what is happening just see what we are doing to ourselves we are starting our morning with being uncomfortable unhappy and it's not like you're going to do anything about this it's just you're going to read it think about it become uncomfortable unhappy and then go along till the next thing that comes in front of you which changes that feeling this is what keeps happening and lot of times we are not aware so at least we should become aware of the feeling that we are having at any moment and we should evaluate this feeling and see is it really making me comfortable or is it making me uncomfortable do i want the continuity of this or not so any questions regarding this namaste didi namaste namaste everyone no you see this example uh, which you have just given mm-hmm. now knowing something what is happening around us it has got its, its positive side also mm-hmm. many things are happening <clears throat> which creates a feeling of pleasantness or unpleasantness in our ourselves but but like say <coughs> i get a news that uh, a particular train or in many trains now uh, there have been increase in the incident of say snatchings and uh, people are <coughs> stealing uh, from passengers so i think such a news or other type of news uh, like a old man has been attacked or that it also uh, provides us an information that we should be more careful uh, unless we don't uh, uh, listen to such news or see such things in the social media and the t- tv or that what's happening in around us or in the in our country in a, around the world so it also gives us some feedback it might have some different in the feeling in our thinking but but we should i think it is no no harm uh, we should keep ourselves updated uh, this is separate thing that it has bringing some change in ourselves uh, yeah the change in yourself is what is deciding your happiness and unhappiness uh, yes but uh, i think it it do it, it is affecting us and we know we are not too much in a situation that we can do something uh, about us uh, yes but some things uh, we can be careful and uh, we can certainly change uh, our habits at least our habits that we don't fall in that trap or we don't fall a victim to such people and uh, Uh, like yeah. uh, okay the memories we we are happy if, if i look back to my album and recall all those thing it certainly brings me, uh, brings happiness and uh, one thing more which in the last slide you have so uh, that uh, in that i have a little doubt like say if you are sitting in an ac room with the director now mm. i had to wish to intentionally bring some incidents about it like like say <clears throat> i i had to visit the office of my director even the secretary also to bring to the notice a very genuine problem which i was facing and uh, i also requested them uh, that uh, i failed to understand that this is the rule sir this is the civil services rule which we follow and not not only i am following it you both are also bound to follow this i had met them separately or in case i went to the municipal committee and uh, represented my case some, something some some problem which we they were not be brief and get to the point what is the ah, point yes uh, i will be brief no i know i know that this person is not doing the work 
I don't have a good feeling with it, with him. Now, in that case, I am helpless. I cannot do anything. I can only have uh, my feeling, a positive feelings. And I, I can just go and meet him and put, put things to him. It is up to him. But, but uh, I have doubt one year that how do I keep my feeling positive towards a person who is not uh, having a right attitude towards other people, not only me, other also. This is what we are going we to do in the exercise. Have you done the exercise before or this is the first time? I have done, no, I have done the exercise previously also, but, but <laughs> I am not doing good at that. I, I see that I, uh, not much in the start, uh, I changed a lot, but uh, then... It's uh, not about changing not, the thought, actually. It's not about no, changing the no, thought. Yeah, it is, uh, this is what... Uh, it is not, I know it is not about changing the dot, which, which I keep on analyzing. It is like how to keep calm and quiet and uh, how to be in a position that our things which are happening outside, uh, I should not get affected by it. my happiness or unhappiness should not depend on them. I should do my duties and I, I know I cannot go and change each and every person who is not performing their duties or not behaving in a proper manner in the society or in the family. So... I am by attending this one. I am just learning how to remain in the same mood or position on the, the same state of happiness if things are not moving my way. Yeah. This is only I wish to. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so it's, true. it's true that, you know, perhaps the first time around we may not have paid that much attention inside or we, you know, because we are all tuned to looking outside. It takes some time to start looking within. And so maybe now if you do these exercises, many people have shared that the second or the third time they did the exercises, uh, you know, every time there is some change, there is some significant difference. See, if we, if we just get it at the thought level and we try to change the thought, it will last for a short time. After that, it will go back to what it was before because the feeling at the base is what is driving that thought. So ultimately we have to catch the feeling. This is why we keep saying feeling is important. Now, in these examples also, these examples are not meant to show some incident and this is right or this is wrong, this is what you need to do or this is not what you need to do. It is nothing about doing. It is just talking about the feeling within you, if you notice. So you would still do whatever needs to be done outside in terms of if there is an employee who is not working properly, you know, there are certain rules in the organization. You won't just let it be, I should trust everybody. I should not doubt the intention. So let it be, let it all be fine. No. But at the same time, you can have the right feeling and yet you know, follow the rules outside. So that possibility you need to explore. And what I would suggest is just do these, you know, whatever assignments there are and whatever uh, points we raise in the exercises, just do that um, sincerely this time around and you may notice some change. Yeah? Yeah, I have noticed that change, ma'am. And mm -hmm. uh, I see that how difficult it is that a person mm -hmm. like the director only he is not having a well, how yeah, to keep a good feeling and right feeling for a this person is, who you know is never going to change. Yeah, this is what <laughs> now there may be many assumptions we also have never going to change that we have assumed, isn't it? No, what I have, is happen I have in seen the future, you. We don't know. Isn't yes, it? but one thing is very good ma'am that uh, previously we were not thinking in these lines that yeah. uh, uh, previously we were very much clear that if a person who is not having uh, uh, a correct behavior with other, so we were not thinking about them. But now we are seeing that he, okay, he's also like us. He might be having some internal problems or something. He's, he's not uh, in the positive direction. And that. so keeping a right feeling like he belongs to us. So this I'm trying to develop. I'm not, uh, I yeah. attend uh, that, but I'm trying to develop that. 
think that I should have a right feeling with him and then talk with him in that manner. Do, so more, than, is, more than I should do this, try to observe the feeling within you at each time. There you will notice how you are feeling comfortable, uncomfortable. There you will notice when you have the right feeling, how you feel inside. And with that, can you help the other person? Yes, change? and I have rightly at least uh, uh, felt this one that if I talk to a person, whatever he may be like, that I do not, then I do not feel uncomfortable afterwards when we had a conversation. And if I did a, a talk with him with the right feeling, mm -hmm. I don't regret afterwards. Yes. I, I, I felt comfortable. This yes. is the feeling which I have now. Uh, I have been noticing in me. Nice. Very nice. And I just want to mention for everybody since that topic came up that, you know, watching the news and all of that. See, getting some information, there is no harm. But what we are doing is we are developing some sanskars based on some incident, one incident. Like, for instance, in the, you know, um, train stations, they started announcing that, you know, there, there was one odd case of some somebody, you know, tried to cheat somebody by giving them some uh, food that was laced with something that, you know, they fell asleep and then they <laughs> cheated them. So there was this announcement in all the trains for some time that don't take anything from anybody that they offer. Don't, um, <coughs> you know, uh, sort of don't, even for children, we, we do that. Don't talk to strangers. Don't behave like this. Don't do this. Now, in today's world, we think that that is the only way. But if you see what we are doing, we are developing mistrust in us for each and every human being there is. And how many of those actually do something? How many of us actually had an incident like that with us? Maybe very small. But in these large numbers, we are developing these sanskars within us. So I'm not saying what is right, what is wrong. I'm just saying there is another side that we must look at. And it's okay to be cautious. Certainly we can be cautious. But this, you know, developing mistrust for every other person, now you're setting yourself up for unhappiness. Just imagine if you're walking on a street and you feel comfortable about everybody around. You will be, you know, walking with ease. You're comfortable. But now, if somebody tells me in this area, there are a lot of thieves. Now I'm constantly walking, watching my purse, holding on to my purse with fear. And how do I feel? In either case, nothing may have happened. But see what, what we are doing. So just to be aware of the other side of it, I just wanted to put that. Namaste. Namaste. Um, my question actually most of the answer you have covered already. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was like, my question was, um, I know the practice and I know the procedure. Uh, I know that uh, being uncomfortable is not good. It will create disturbance in me. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, but what happened at the, type, the time of the movement, the heat movement, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not able to, you know, get focused on the uh, natural acceptance like this is what i should uh, i should do for being in harmony state before the incident i know the process after the incident i know the process i can ponder upon but the, that particular moment it just slips and yeah. uh, things get out of control how long have you been doing the exercises mm. I think when you people have started, from the day one, I have started doing this. The day one of which session? 
this session last session this session on huh? 30th, 30th of march yeah so this session no yeah yeah so it's we've just covered only the second step of the exercise so wait till you cover the other steps because mm -hmm. we'll be discussing all this yeah i i got to know from your answer that you know uh, while more and more practice or by moving on the content we will be having hold on it i mean we'll be able to get the kind of answer with what i am searching for but yeah. that's what i said that you have covered almost all the uh, area but just i just wanted to ask is it any no. like something See, is wrong is, no no nothing is wrong this is how it is because when we start with we don't think it is significant like just now the discussion that was happening what does it matter if you feel unpleasant for some time but it matters to us that is the problem yeah so now when you have this uncomfortable feeling that's when you start thinking ke you know i should not have done this true true but before that we are not paying attention because things are going on so we think it's not significant that's how i mean not just for you i'm saying for all of us we tend to look at things outside we don't pay attention inside largely because we may not even have been aware of the self mm -hmm. so that assumption that we are just the body and we keep you know working through the sensations in the body that is a very large pre presumption in most of us and so we continue to look outside pay attention outside we don't think it is significant to pay attention inside now if i don't think it is significant i will not pay attention isn't it the day i it becomes important to me it becomes important to me when i start feeling uncomfortable because i don't like it right i want to be comfortable so later on when i'm thinking about it now when i reflect on it i say that you know i was uncomfortable then and uh, it should not have happened so regardless of what happens outside if that irritation is happening within me it is significant for me because i am uncomfortable and i don't want that to be there so what to do so initially this will happen even though i am trying to pay attention inside even though i am doing you know whatever trying to observe the imagination and all of that but you will notice that many times during the course of the day you are busy with other activities you forget so you don't pay attention mm -hmm. so now suddenly when it actually happens will i be able to pay attention perhaps not isn't it mm. because i am not habituated to that right. so what do i need to do i need to at least remind myself to pay attention inside so some people put alarms on their phone some people put some sticky notes say every 2 hours i will watch what is happening within watch what is happening within now you do that for a few days it becomes a habit then you start watching within now every activity that you are doing you are always you know observing within also so it becomes a practice when you practice it is right. so the so answer lies in happen yeah so the answer lies that more and more practice will bring more focus yes because till now see see uh, i can catch the disturbance like Uh, from the lower level then to thought level but when question comes for feeling then it slips at that particular moment it slips uh, that's what i said ki i know the thing that it is going to uh, like i should refer to natural acceptance but that at particular moment i it gets slipped so as you say that by doing more and more practice it will be easy yeah at that moment thank you really thank you so much ji and when we are doing the steps further it will become more clear about what exactly okay. we are doing okay, okay. thank you
So this is the assignment. We have to observe the imagination. This we have already been doing. Nothing new. Try to differentiate between expectations, thoughts, and desires in you, in your imagination. Now, when you have an unpleasant interaction with a close relative, say, suppose you have an unpleasant interaction with a close relative. It could be a family member, it could be your spouse, it could be a close friend, anybody. Now you look and try to analyze this incident objectively. What is your expectation at the time? What is your thought process then? What is your feeling at the base of the thoughts when this actually happened? Right? So, it may not be now, maybe it happened earlier. Then we can reflect on it. We can try to see what happened, why it was unpleasant for us. Right? That is one thing. The other thing is, now if you look at this below, when you do household chores, or tasks that may be repetitive. Try to see what is your feeling at the base of this doing. We focus so much on the doing. What is the feeling at the base? For example, if I have feeling of care for the family members, then I will feel a certain way. If I have a feeling that, you know, I'm being forced to do this, I could be doing something so much better, but now, you know, nobody is doing the dishes, I only have to do them. Now, how do I feel? You'll notice that if you have the feeling of care, this feeling is naturally acceptable to you. And you will want the continuity. Similarly, if you have the feeling of being exploited, or somebody forced you to do it, or somebody has, you know, in the family um, is not doing it, therefore you have to do it. Now this feeling is not naturally acceptable to you, and you don't want the continuity. The task outside is the same, and you are doing it also. This is what happens. We have to do some task within. I mean, we have to do some task outside. So like this, washing the dishes. And I tell myself, you know, my spouse is not doing it. My children are not doing it. I have to do everything. I have to go to work also. I have to make the food also. And I have to do the dishes also. And I'm mumbling, mumbling, mumbling. And I'm doing them. See what's happening? I am doing the work also. But I am very unpleasant inside, I am very unhappy and I am struggling with this. Same task, if I have a different feeling within, if I have this feeling that, you know, I would like to have my kitchen clean, if it's not bothering the others, it's okay, let me clean it. And I feel, okay, the others may be tired, it's all right. Now if I do it, same task, I have a different feeling. It might take all of 10 or 15 minutes, but in those 15 minutes, whether I am happy or unhappy, I have decided that, I have chosen that based on what I am feeling. I'm not even coming to the doing. I'm not even saying that you should do the dishes or you should not or shouldn't the other people do. All of that is a different story. Certainly, if we want the others to do or we would, you know, we can request them. We can tell them that I'm feeling very tired. Could you please do it? I'm sure they will do it if we talk to them. You know, what happens is we don't have the right feeling. We just blast at the other person that, you know, I only have to do, 
somebody else should do now with that feeling of opposition the other person also doesn't feel like listening what are we doing mutual unhappiness this is what is happening so lot of times we are doing the tasks and we think we are sacrificing so much for making the other person feel better but in fact we are miserable and we are making the other person miserable also so we can reflect on that and we'll do a 10 minute observation now with these in mind we can leave the slide on so that they can everybody can see this and we'll observe for 10 minutes and then we'll take your observation so i'll mute myself okay we have been observing for about 10 minutes anybody has any reflections to share any observations there must be similar incidents happening every now and then at home any observations we have regarding this like this doing the dishes part does it happen sometimes does this happen that we are doing some task and we don't feel good about it but we are doing it anyway would anybody like to share any observation uh, good morning ji good morning to all uh, didi you are telling no uh, that is uh, uh, incident happened previously uh, that regarding that i would like to share uh, 10 years back i and my husband had been to shopping to bangalore we purchased some uh, household things which are required to us uh, while coming uh, we lost that things we forget to bring okay while traveling in the bus we forget to take that bag and it we lost it it cost around 5000 um, by that time i argued i had a quarrel with my husband i argued much every day i used to scold him um, by that time uh, he was irritated and he said shall i end my life i lost it okay shall i end my life he asked by that time i stopped it and uh, many for many years i am remembering we lost it we lost it we lost it same thing was happened day before yesterday sunday we had been to bangalore once again to purchase something and uh, on monday we came back uh, while coming back uh, some some bag we are traveling by vehicle uh, that bag fell down and uh, the vehicle uh, behind a uh, pause on that thing we lost by that time also but by that time i did not speak a single word i did not scold him anything we lost it it's okay come we'll go home i said we came home by that time we lost it okay it is not uh, by intention he has not uh, throw that bag outside I, i feel comfortable by that time i did not spoke uh, i did not say anything he was not irritated and we came home okay i feel comfortable because of uhv it has it was happened to me didi oh that's what i want to share nice yes true we do many things and see 10 years we keep thinking about this and each time you think about it you become unhappy about it and we think that unhappiness is because of the other person because they didn't do something right so no. this assignment will post on the group also i'll post the assignment on the group and we can also um share this the observation of the imagination must keep going on and um particularly the feeling and now we have to evaluate the feeling each time evaluate and see what is happening are you you know is it naturally acceptable to you or not is do you want the continuity or not 